Hello and welcome back to level 3 challenge on floors 2.cloud. This is the last challenge on floors.cloud and let's solve this. I'm just going to start with reading the instructions of this challenge. This one says the containers web server you got access to includes a simple proxy that can be accessed either these two even URLs and then you know we need to solve this so whenever i look at this it reminds me of of a challenge that i did in flaws.cloud level 5 actually in that level 5 what we did was we were able to kind of take an advantage of ssrf vulnerability and ssrf stands for server side request forgery vulnerability we were able to use that vulnerability to you know basically solve that lab and that's what i'm gonna try to do in this case as well but the difference between that one and this one is level 5 in Floors that Cloud was running web application, if I remember, on Elastic EC2, basically EC2 instance. But this one is it's a container, right? And it is running a container on EC2 instance. So the metadata location will be different. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to this URL. And then what we can do is we could try to again start with ssrf vulnerability where we try to read the metadata of whatever is running on that ec2 instance and again i keep repeating myself but in this case what is the service that is running on ec2 instance is the elast container service right so it's not it's not a web application but elast container service and then the location for that elastic container service is different and it is different in a way that let me just try to show that to you. So uh, Elastic Container Service, and then I'm going to say meta metadata end, endpoints location or something. I'm going to go to this. I know what it is. I'm just trying to show you what that is. So if I scroll down, this is basically the location, right? So if you want to get the task metadata from Elastic Container Service on EC2 instance, this is basically the location of that metadata. But we don't just want the metadata, we want the credentials of this container or of this, you know, image, right? And that is basically just this, but we add subdirectories to it. So let me show you what that is. So this is the location where we need to go to access the metadata of Elast Container Service on AWS. And then this GUID is basically, is the environment variable right and you might ask what environment variable is it it is an environment variable called aws container credentials relative uri so that's what we're gonna try to do and this is how we get or list environment variables so we could either run environment for example i am running this on my local machine as you can see it lists all the environments or we could also say for example this environment is equal to one right so and the environment that we are looking for in this case is let me show that to you as well so for this gui we need to learn more about this environment so whatever this is equals to that is going to be the value for our gui right so whatever this is and there are three ways to list it one of them is again you just say environments next one is you just say print environments and then the other one is you could say proc pid number here and then you could just say environ right in this case we don't know the p uh, pid for this environment so we could try to we could try to say self and in this case what self is it basically points to the current processes directory so we could say this so we're going to try all those three in this case so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the one of the given urls and i'm going to try to take an advantage of that simple proxy to you know basically run ssr vulnerability so right here I'm going to get rid of that HTTP and I'm going to say environment, see if it works. It doesn't work. So this one is out of topic because it didn't work for us. And now I could also do print environments that didn't work either. And then the last one we can do is we could just say proc and then we don't know the PID number. So we could just say self to point to the current processes directory. And then we could say environment. And if we, you know, enter, we get the results to that command. And this is the one that we were looking for, as I mentioned earlier. So whatever this is equals to is the one that we need. And it is equals to this number, basically, right? I'm just going to copy that, go back to my notes, change the GUID with that one. So we have the full thing. So this directory or this path is going to get us the 
credentials for that image or that container and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and now i'm going to paste that whole thing after http press enter and then we get the credentials that this container is assuming right so it's basically a role we have this whole thing it's kind of hard to read so i'm i'm kind of beautify it so json prefy i'm gonna copy and paste it so this is the value that we got so we have the access keys we have the secret key we also have the token and now we're gonna create a user based on this i'm gonna go back to my terminal i'm just gonna say aws configure profile this is level three it's gonna ask for access key it's gonna ask for secret key paste it and now since this is the role we need to add the session token as well so i'm just going to do that manually aws go to aws directory go to credentials and this is the user that we've just created and we need the aws session token because it is a role and not a user when you have a user you don't have to need a you don't have to add a session token anyways let me copy this go back to my terminal paste it save it and now let's check if that user or those credentials are valid or not so I'm just going to do AWSTS, get caller identity, and then specify the user, which is level three in our case. And as you can see, this user is still active and the credentials we have are valid. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this here. I might need it. And now, just like before, I'm going to try to see if this URL or if this page is hosted on AWS S3. And if it is, I'm going to try to check for its contents. It most likely is, but we just want to make sure. Let's just pretend like, you know, we don't know this. So I'm just going to do hosts and then cloud. And we get all these IP addresses uh, that is that are basically associated with this URL. I'm going to copy one of them, paste it. And if you paste it, it says it points to AWS S3, basically meaning that this website is being hosted on AWS S3, meaning that it is a bucket. And now we are we're going to try to list the contents of this bucket, right? And to do that, we just say AWS S3 list. And then instead of HTTP or HTTPS, we say S3 and then paste the bucket name. In our case, that is going to be the URL. And then the caller is going to be level three user that we've just created. And then press enter. It says access denied. Okay. I don't know why I got that. Okay. So we are getting an access denied error message in this case but this is what i'm going to do now instead of trying to list the contents of this bucket specifically i'm going to try to list all the buckets that this user can list so i'm just going to press enter and as you can see we were able to list all the buckets that this user can list we have this first cloud level one level two level three and we also found this last url that basically solves this level three so let me just go to that url make sure if it works yes it works as you can see it says the end i hope this was beneficial to you i hope you enjoyed it thank you and see you next time